Hello everyone, Ted the Old Star Wars Nerd here. I hope you're doing well, and I want to thank you for joining me today because we're going to look at two toys. All right, one toy Star Wars, one toy not Star Wars from my personal collection I've had for a long, long time. All right, well, starting off, since I did on my other video, I did TIE Fighters, I think I should do the X-Wing. Now, these X-Wings that I have aren't mine from my childhood. They are, you know, 1977 Kenner X-Wings, they're just not my personal ones I grew up with. Mine, I broke like two. I remember, you know, if you heard my other story from uh, encounters with throwing them against each other over my mom's bed, them and TIE Fighters with my cousin. But I broke those two. And then I had, I did have one that had made it up until 2008 when I moved to Oregon. I had to sell a lot of my Star Wars toys to afford that trip. I'm trying to get a few of them back that were my favorites, and of course, X-Wings were one of my favorites, and I saw a deal on eBay at one time for two X-Wings for $10. It was a hell of a deal. I don't know how I stumbled across it, but I got these two X-Wings. They didn't have cockpits, and they didn't have guns, but I figured, you know, they said they had everything else, and they said they worked, and they've got them, and I verified that they work, and they do have, uh, their, uh, they are missing the guns, and they are missing the cockpits, but everything else works on them. Wings open, close, and they are just fine. So speaking of, here's one that, you know, most of the stickers have fallen off of, and I haven't decided if I want to, like, paint this one and make it look, like, authentic, you know, kind of neat, you know, with paints and stuff, or if I just want to, you know, put the Kenner uh, decals back on it. And, uh, but yeah, and uh, you got R2 there. You push down to his head, the wings open. Pull that, the wings close, and um, I've got another X-Wing. It's in a little bit better shape, and it's got more decals still on it, more of the stickers still on it, and it works just fine. You push that open, and it works a little bit better than the other one. I'm going to take both of them apart and clean them really good. I got I, I got these just uh, about a year ago. I just hadn't touched them yet. So, But, yeah, it's a really good, and for this one, if you notice, it has guns on it now. For this one, I shelled out 40 bucks and got a set of guns off eBay. So this one has authentic 1977 Kenner guns. This one, I these guns that are on here, I made with my 3D printer just to see if I can make them. And you can already see they, they've broken off. They break real easily. I'm going to make some more later, but that's just for, that's just for display. That's just for my own personal display up on the shelves trying to put some reproduction on here these two are still in good shape and let me show you how uh, how close they are to being like the real ones if i can get it, one of these off of here from 1977 so this is 1977 a real one from authentic kenner you can kind of look at the bottom you can see the holes there and the detailing that's on it and you got this one, the holes on it, and the detailing. It's a little bit different, but not much. I mean, not really too bad. I've tried to get a, a model that was uh, very similar to the original, and not a bad job. I mean, they look very similar. If you look at them, you can definitely tell which one's which. This is very brittle, very, uh, very stiff. And this is, uh, oh wait, no, this is, <laughs> this is the real one and it's bendable and this one's really stiff and I don't want to bend it too much. It will break because these, uh, 3d printed ones that are resin printed can get brittle. So anyway, well, like I say, I'm going to probably print some more of those and get it back up there, get it back in pristine looking, not pristine looking condition, but just okay. Presentable condition. And for the cockpits. I, I will eventually shell out and buy real cockpits, but they're like 50 bucks each to get them off eBay. And so I've been trying, you know, with my 3D printer, printing my own. And I've gotten pretty darn close. This one's not bad. I don't like, you can see the lines in it. And it's not quite as crystal clear as it should be. That's more, that's the best one I've gotten so far. Usually what I've been coming up with, it kind of gets dull and yellowed, and I don't know where that line comes from that's in the middle of it. But uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on trying to figure out some clear prints. But I'd really like to get real cockpits, cockpits and guns for that and get it authentic back up. But either way, even if not, 
it's just for me on my shelf. I don't plan on selling these again anytime soon. These are probably going to go to my kids if they're interested. <laughs> so there are my two X-Wings. You've probably seen people do reviews of these before. It's got the, the skid on bottom that you can put up and down. It's got the light on front. You push this button when there's batteries in there. It just gives a little squeal and the light lights up. And um, all around, great toy. Great toy. I don't know how many of these wings I broke off playing with these things. So, okay, there's two X-Wings. Hope you like that. So here's the second toy, the non-Star Wars toy. And I like the X-Wings. I have two of these as well. Light Cycles. Tommy Light Cycles for Tron. Okay, so... You can see right there, Tommy. Now this one, I found at a garage sale uh, 15, 20 years ago. I don't know, it was, but it was, it's in pretty good shape. It didn't have the pull cord, didn't have anybody inside of it, nothing like that, but it is in, it's in fairly good shape, really good shape. The wheels, you can see the wheel is still clean, so it probably wasn't used too much, and the front wheel is real clean. And those are kind of skidded up, but that happens when it you know stops and it rolls to the side. Then you have this one that was mine that I got probably right as the movie came out. This old yellow one here. And its wheels are very dirty. They've been much dirtier than that. I've cleaned them I don't know how many times. And it you can see there, I don't know what year it says for Disney. 1981 Disney. I don't know. I can't see. I can't. My eyes are bad. But uh, and then of course on the other side, Tommy. But it is in still in fairly good shape too, even though it's been through hell and back. It's got some good scuffing on the bottom, and uh, but the prize is inside, as they say. So inside here, I have Tron himself. I used to have Tron, Flynn, Sark, a. Uh, little one of the little warriors had those four and everything but for some reason all i still have now is tron i'm not quite i think i got a good idea what happened to him but i'm not quite sure and, but even with tron here if it show him off he's kind of translucent yeah, i mean you've seen tron toys before and i've still got his his disc his disc is still here now I used to take like my a blue pen and you could color in the um, circles there and it made it look more like a Tron disc because it would have the blue circles and the white circles on it too. So anyway, so yeah, I've still got Tron. You take the disc off his back. It's got a little peg there that sticks into his back, but then you take it out and Tron can hold his disc. So there you go. Thinking of the legendary Tron, there you go, Nate. Here's your Tron with his disc. So, only got one Tron left, but I got two light cycles. And they're awesome. I love these things. Love these things. Got one more thing that goes to the light cycles I have to show off. And this this one kind of makes me a little bit sad. <clears throat> but uh, I'm not... not um, surprised at the condition it's in and here we go this is you can see this is the tron tommy pull stick that you put in the things and you pull them and it makes them go but i this one's broke it broke off there and they have a piece here that it went to there i think yeah and then I have one more piece that goes on the bottom. It broke into three pieces, and this would go on the bottom. So you put this in the light cycle and pull it, and this weighted wheel would go, and you'd put it down, and it would, it would fly across the kitchen floor or wherever. Let's just see if it works. Haven't done this in so many years. We'll let tr uh, Coach tell his horror story about this one of these days. Let's see if it can go in there. Does it? It doesn't. Yeah, it goes like that. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it goes right in. 
So here we go. <laughs> you want to see this pulled after, I don't know, it's been it's been at least 20 years. More, more, more. I don't know. But anyway, here we go. And he takes off. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, there you go. I thought that was pretty cool. Tron. Tron Light Cycles from Tomy. I know they've come out with reissues and remodels in the years since, but these are the originals. Okay, well, there is two toys for this week, okay? Thank you for joining me on EBN TV, going over a Star Wars toy and a non-Star Wars toy. Come back next week and I'll do a couple more, all right? So once again, this is Ted the Old Star Wars Nerd here on Echo Base TV, where community happens. Back to the show.